Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to iRacing where this week we're finally back in the Xfinity series. It's been a while since we were bashing around in this series. We did run Auto Club, however, um, the race basically was so embarrassing on my part that I decided not to upload it. I made so many ridiculous mistakes. But we're here this week, we're at Texas, so it's another high speed, high downforce racetrack. Um, throughout practice, I think we've been not too bad. I've been looking at some of the lap times of what some of these guys have set in the other races, and I felt like we are relatively cl like close to the pace, but it's definitely not going to be easy. This track is incredibly difficult compared to, say, Auto Club. So we're just about to run qualifying now, and hopefully we can get this Ford Mustang as high up the field as possible. There's actually only 16 people in this race, so it's pretty small. It's quite odd. I would have thought we'd get a little bit more of a sort of participation. There was uh, two splits in total, so we are in top split uh, with a number two car. So we should, in theory, <laughs> have a pretty high chance of doing well in this race, but I mean, it's Texas, so I guess it's all about keeping it out of the wall. All right, I'm just gonna make some changes to the car. Well, I mean, it's fixed setups. So everyone has the exact same setup, but you can change some sort of personal preference things on like brakes and steering and whatnot. All right, qualifying. Let's just see if we can hopefully get a decent lap together. It's pretty, I mean, it's hard on most tracks, but to sort of perfect a lap, but around here, it seems particularly difficult. Right. So we're going to run right up against the wall, try and carry as much speed onto that sort of tri well, quad oval. I'm not quite sure what you call that. <laughs> Alright. Okay, here, here we go. Yep, no, nah, fucked it. <laughs> Unless you have both left side tyres on that um, sort of apron white line, it is completely pointless. You will end up fencing it and in qualifying I had to get so far out of the throttle that it's sort of pointless. Uh, well, we get one more crack. In qualifying in the NASCAR sort of series on iRacing, you actually get two laps to try and smash it out. Come on, show me the money. One more left. Had to get out throttle a bit there. Oh, I slightly missed the bottom, but carried good speed. This won't be good, but it'll be okay. And 30 point for wow, okay. Oh shit, that's where I'm going. Okay, so that wasn't too bad in the end. My best in practice, yeah, best was a 30.561. We definitely lost a little bit of speed in 1 and 2 by getting out the throttle on the exit. And we also missed a little bit of speed by not quite hitting the very bottom of the racetrack through 3 and 4, but still carried good momentum. So I think if I could perfect a lap, I may be able to get, um, I may just be able to get into the 4s in qualifying, but a 30.568 is still pretty good. Uh, it means nothing around here. It's all about the long run. So much goes on over a long sort of run in this race. I'm not sure. As I said, I mean, I've only practiced by myself. So once we get, you know, 16 other cars on the track, which isn't many, but it's still enough to really rubber this track in and we'll probably end up having to move around a bit. I expect we'll be on the high line towards the end of the sort of stint. Uh, now the tyre wear in practice when I was by myself wasn't actually too bad so I'd imagine we should be able to go pretty long on the tyres here however it is 50 laps and I don't think you can make it quite 50 laps on a set of tyres around here but 
we'll see how we go. We'll see if people start pitting. Uh, if, if we are to make a pit stop and make it a one-stop sort of race, I think I may look at around lap 30, but we'll see what happens. I fully expect there to be some cautions, although there's not too many people, so you never know. Now, if I do sound a little bit different, I apologise. I uh, have just recently moved to the UK and my body is adjusting to this English weather of which uh, it's taken quite a hit over the last sort of Easter weekend. And yeah, so I definitely have come down with something, which probably is why I'm sounding a bit nasally and disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, it's almost gone, so it should be good for the NASCAR iRacing series this weekend, which I'm fully looking forward to. Hopefully we can get another win. We've won four out of six races so far this season in the NASCAR iRacing series. It's probably been like I, well, I couldn't imagine a better start to the series unfortunately we had a dnf at atlanta but we've won we won the daytona 500 again so we went back to back in that uh we went we won the martinsville race last week we won phoenix uh the week or two weeks before or the week before uh yeah and then we actually ended up winning at uh where was the other one i can't remember where did we... Oh, Vegas. Yeah, we won at Las Vegas. So, it's been an incredible start to the year in the NASCAR stuff. Or NASCAR side of things. But I still haven't got a win in the Xfinity Series or the trucks yet. I've ran the support category to the... Well, this support category and also the truck series multiple times now. And we had a second at Martinsville in the trucks and I... Think One lap to green. We Line had up a, on the inside. Bit road is closed. A second in the Xfinity series at Las Vegas, or maybe it was the third, but yeah, so we've got a golden opportunity here with this low strength of field to hopefully get a win on the season in the Xfinity series. Would be nice, but it's not gonna be easy. I don't have any experience in the long run with other people on the track, so hopefully we don't get clobbered up too quickly. <laughs> I mean, we did do a 5.6, which is a half second quicker, but over a long run, that really does mean nothing, although it's quite close from 2nd to 5th. And there's also some quick guys back here that I fully imagine all come through the field. It's weird, I'm wondering why the one car is all the way down in 14th. Oh shit, we're going. I thought it, I thought the rest of the field was gridded by your. I thought it was gridded by your uh, your number, in other words, your I rating. But obviously not. I don't know if that's changed, but I racing are always updating the service, so it's hard to keep up with what they change. All right, so we're gonna want fuel. On every, I'm going to refuel at every stop we do make because I want this car to be as loose as possible. The reason for that is when you fuel the car, the fuel tank in these cars is in the rear, so the more weight you have on the rear means the looser it will be. And around here, loose is fast, and this fix setup that we're running that's provided by iRacing is um, it's quite tight, so you always, always want to keep loosening you know. up. Well, it's quite tight in the sessions that I was running. I suppose we'll find out how it is here in a bit. Get ready. Alright, here we go. Xfinity Series at Texas. This one's going to be wild. The pace car is in. And we're away. Good jump. fighting behind us.
Alright, so we've got a bit of a lead. Just try and focus ahead, not use up too much tyre. Starting to lose the tyre now. Come on. Wow, this guy behind me is catching me up really quick. Just went too hard out the gate, I suppose. Thank you. 
Ciao, ciao. I'm just trying to limp her home now. I hear ya. I am. I can't believe there wasn't a caution for that. Oh man, there was all hell for the in front of me. I couldn't believe it. I gotta go back and watch the replay too. I, like, I ended up getting through, but... I think the one got into the back end of like the five, and then the rest of us got checked up in it. Starting to lose the rear a bit. Oh man, this is hard. down there. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. 
Halfway there. Halfway home, tires are three quarters worn out. My car, my car is three quarters worn out. What are you talking about? Mine too. I've already bounced it off the wall and went down across the infield and started the race. Third on back is freaking days of thunder. I hope it stays green just to see how bad these tires get. Oh my god, this is going to be a mess. Already two seconds slower. By the end of this race, there's going to just be no tyre left at all. I really want to try the outside, but it's too soon, I reckon. That car's a lap down. Twenty more laps. Woo, buddy, dirt tracking it now. Slow car down low. The yellow flag is no, out. and he stopped on track, so we got a yellow flag. Damn it! <coughs> that would be nice if that had gone green at the end. Wow. You're actually not allowed to do that. If you stop on track to cause a yellow flag like that, that is, you know, that can be protested. I mean, he's still stopped on track. Ugh, that's annoying. Oh well. So we'll have, well, we got 19 laps to go now, so we'll probably have like 16 or 15 laps to go when we go green again. Pete car is going into three. The pit road is now open. Catch the pace car. Anybody need tires? I'm good. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay out. Bye. I think I just need a whole new car. No, it cannot overshoot this pit stall. Come on, Joseph, get it right. Oh, perfect. Whew, that was alright. All clear, punch it. Just got the lead. Phew. Alright, the tyres were 70 and 79. Holy shit. Wow, that right front really did wear it. I thought it was going to be even, to be honest. Wow. That's not good. <laughs> that is way too much right front wear. Damn. That's ridiculous. That is way too much right front wear.
Alright, two until green. We've got seven, ten, oh, ten cars, eleven cars in total left in the race of the sixteen that started. I'm not sure how so many people wrecked when we've got barely one, or barely anyone in the race, but we'll be going green with fifteen to go, so all we have to do is hold on to the lead for fifteen more laps. No, oh, yeah, ten cars left in the race. Man, this is going to be a crazy last few laps. We, uh, the well, us and the five car are virtually the same speed. I let him cat, well, catch up quite a bit while I was trying to save some tyres, and he caught up all the way like 1.2 seconds on us. So he definitely has a little bit more pace than us right now. But I am still sort of learning the track in in with it all rubbered in. It's very different when you're out practicing by yourself. One lap to green. Line up on the inside. Alright, here we go. 15 laps to go. When we go green, this is going to be pretty close. Come on, see if we can get our first win in the Xfinity Series. Show me the money. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. The yellow flag is out. Line up. Oh, the yellow flag is out. Road is closed. Catch the pace car. Wow, that changes things. I'm not going to pick because we've only done one lap. Or two laps. Pace car is near the back stretch. Pace car going in three. Checking up. The pit road is now open. Yeah, all the guys at the back will pit to try and get some fresh stuff, but it's really no point for us. So four cars, five cars stayed out. Car 13, got the lucky dog. Let them by on the outside. Let the 13 car by. 
Oh man, now this is gonna be an, an interesting race to finish. Ugh. Twelve laps to go, probably gonna go green with like nine to go or eight. Oh man, kill me now. I want this victory, please. Please. End the race now. Pit road is closed. Well, this is awfully fun. The problem with Texas being such a long track is that the bloody pace laps just take forever. I have actually raced at this track before, although it was on like sort of the road car, uh, road course section. And it's quite interesting actually, when you come off turn 4, you, it feels like you're going straight into the grandstand. I don't know why, none of the other One sort of oval green. tracks that I raced at gave you that sort of feeling. But here, I don't know why, I guess because it's just, the stand is so big, rounding turn 4. It just gives me, it gave me this feeling like I was heading straight towards it, and I'd have to continue to focus my head to turn left. <laughs> Alright. It's going to be 9 to go when the green comes out. We've only got. Oh, I've actually. We've got 12 or 11 cars left in the race. But it's just whether or not we can beat the 5. Hopefully, he doesn't beat up on us too much. Any sort of push or rub or nudge around here at this speed just ends up with cars 40 feet in the air landing upside down. Alright, let's change it up a bit a bit this time. Might go a little bit earlier, see if he reads it. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Well, he read it pretty well. Green flag, green flag. Hit a wheel spin. Done two laps on the tyres and we're still getting wheel spin. No grip. Hey, Thomas, there's somebody up there, bud. And this guy is way better than us through 3 and 4, but we're slightly better than him through 1 and 2. <coughs> that 
Ugh. I'm dying. I don't know where I planned on going there, that was a bad corner. Come on. That was better. Much better. You've got five left to go. Ah, uh, cock that up. Come on. Inside. Keep high. I can't believe I just gave that up like that. That was really stupid of me. The next car's the leader. Wow, oh my god, that's net code. That's a massive net code. That's a massive net code. I am so sorry. Wow. Wow. I'm trying to check out, bro. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, that was a massive net code on my end. I'm really sorry there, number five. That was really, really big. I don't know quite what caused that. But yeah, it was a massive net code on my end. Wow. So weird. I sort of like knew he, he really slowed up the middle of the corner, so I backed up, right. got out of the throttle, and then all of a sudden his car started to sort of move away from me, and that's when it, the contact was made. That's really weird. I mean, you can see my green bar up in the top right corner is fine, it's not flickering. The F bar, that's force feedback. That's really weird. Unfortunately, that's not the way we wanted to win this one, but, I mean, yeah, wow. You got two left to go. Safety rating, kill safety rating killer. Car 13, got the lucky dog. Let them by on the outside. Wow, far out, man. That sucks. Let the 13 car by. He had the position when the yellow flag came out. He just, he slowed up. I mean, I knew we were a lot quicker than him through one and two, but he definitely slowed up a lot in the middle. I tried checking up, and I did check up. I mean, we didn't make contact. There was no contact. It seemed to... I got a 4X after I got ran into the back of by the guy behind, but before that, I didn't get any contact. That was just really weird. We'll go and have a look at the replay here in a sec, but it seemed a little bit like a net code from from the in-car. Now I started to check up, I could only check up so much because I had, uh, well I mean if I check up any more then I was going to get passed by the car, the guy in third right behind us, but I felt like I checked up enough. Anyway, that's I racing, unfortunately. Definitely not the way I wanted to get my first win in the Xfinity Keep series, so One more lap to win. that's a bit of a stupid way to get it. <sighs> Man, that sucks. That really sucks.
on, push me. Oh, where am I going? Alright, there it is, race over. Definitely. Wow, Thomas, you wrecked me and you won't even. You won! See no you point line. doing any donuts after that finish. Alright, so let's go back and have a look. So it was. 47. Uh, chase view. Oh no, before that. Okay. Hold on. Let's have a look from this angle. I mean, there's still a gap between there. It's very close, but I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no touch. It's very close, but you should be able to run that close in NASCAR. Uh, yeah, that just sucks. I mean, there was no contact initially on the that registered, but uh, it's just so annoying. I hate when races end like this. I mean, at this point, he's checking up a lot to get the exit, but, I mean, you can see how much I'd already slowed down. And I slowed down enough, according to that, um, but... Yeah, it yeah. gave me one, too. I don't That's understand, really I already crossed the start finish line. Alright, guys, well, there you have it. Not the way we wanted to win here at Texas. Um, May, I, I don't know, according, in my opinion, there was no contact, as we saw there, there was a gap between me and the car in front, so I'm going to call it a net code, it probably should have checked up a little bit more, but with, you know, two laps to go, and third place right behind us, I was trying to get a decent run off the corner to try and get him back, yeah. You know, a lot of people got black flag, saying I got a second. I wasn't nowhere near a second. Oh, there's people still going on after the race, but yeah, anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Yeah, I don't understand this, Bruh. <laughs> Car Why is it not turning down? Line before and never got Shut by. up. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for the... Yeah, oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for the NASCAR I Racing Series. Hopefully we get a more clean race there. Alright. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.